Hey folks, how are we doing? So as you see, got the new model for you and I'm really excited about this one because I don't know, ever since I designed it, I was obsessed with it, I couldn't wait till it gets here, till I get to make it and I gotta say, uh, it exceeded my expectation of how it looks, how it feels, how it works so really, really happy about this. So these are called Mako. Uh, they have two blade shapes. I still did only these, the, the cool looking blade shape. The, I call this modified Warney. You know, a lot of people like Warn Cliffs. I like them too, but not actually for using because the straight edge just doesn't do it for me when it comes to the user. I want to have the, the bend in the blade for different cutting tasks. So I kind of modified it and I wouldn't call this Tanto. By the way, Tanto isn't even a blade shape, honestly. <laughs> tanto is actually, some people think that Tanto is a blade shape. It's just what, it's the Americanized meaning of the word Tanto. It's not real that. So I wouldn't consider this a Tanto. I, I would, I, I'm going to call it modifying warning. So you have a bend in the middle of the blade uh, and it's not ground with the obvious point there. But it's actually curved there, you know, it's nice and curvy here, so that would be kind of considered like a belly. Then you have a nice pointed tip, just like a Warncliffe, and I think it also kind of reminds you of a Warncliffe blade. So that's that. Size-wise, here's a comparison with the paramilitary, a lot of people have paramilitaries. So it's almost identical, it actually, but it has a quite a lot more blade not quite a lot but it has a, it has a bigger blade you know if you put them if you put them from top of the handle to top of the handle you have longer blade and also more actual cutting edge about the same handle so that's going to actually make a lot of people happy it's a nice big handle you know i have small hands and i still have so much space in the back uh, compared to my small flipper little bit bigger not by much but it is a little bit bigger so and the large it's almost identical to the large this one is my old old one so large one is actually a tiny bit longer than this one but uh, it's it's thin and narrower you know narrower in the profile and everything so this one is you know, the idea when i designed it was kind of place it right in between the small one and large one it essentially it is because it has a three 3.75 inch blade which this was three and a half and the large one is four, you know, the blade from the top of the handle, not the actual cutting edge. So essentially I did place it right there where I wanted, so that's that's pretty good. They have kind of protruding back spacers that design wise it goes pretty nice with the with the thumb rim here on this one. And the drop point that just keeps nice and down, just keeps going down here like that. It doesn't have this uh, the thumb rim there. So drop points will be also very, very cool looking, I think. Hall. Uh, First of all, it was the design feature. It, it wasn't really meant to be a hole as an opening mechanism because most of the time when you have a flipper, the is kind of, it's, it's pretty hard to overcome by other than the flipping action. It is definitely doable. I mean, I can easily flick it. I'm already used to it. It's not the most easiest flicking because of the detent, like I said, but it's definitely doable. So when your flicking finger is hurt or something, you can still easily open it. And also it gives you a nice option of just nice gentle opening. If you want to open the knife in front of somebody without, you know, scaring them with flipping, that uh, to non-knife people it actually can be kind of threatening. You can just, you know, grab it by the hole, grab it by the blade and uh, just open it nicely, gently. Uh, pretty happy about this uh, second one. That goes to a friend of mine actually has a combination of the sun pattern, craters and the circles. And the uh, alien spine backspacer with kind of alien spine pocket clip. And the one I did today is pretty cool. It's again combination of the craters, circles and the lines. These lines are regular linear lines, not the, not the uh, sun pattern one. And this one has the three mosaic pins. And the three larger, it's a bra, brass ring with the copper inlay inside. So I don't love, like how it looks. It's like a really light bluish grayish color. Yeah, yeah, bluish, very light blue. And uh, it just goes with the, the copper and brass, pops up nicely in it. 
really like it. Kind of marching back. This one also has alien spine. Really like these blades. They just there's something about them. I think just visually striking to me personally. Very happy. This one actually goes to the the winner of the auction, the last auction. He got the uh, the black Damascus, and uh, he gets to he got to pick whichever one of the makos he wanted because people on Instagram went crazy about the makos. So I figure I'll offer it to the winner of the auction. If he's interested, he can just pick whichever one I make. You know, so he doesn't have to fight on the first come first serve on the gear bashing. And uh, so this one is for him. So guys, hope you enjoy this. Uh, like I said, very, very excited about this. I think it's a super cool model. And uh, the nice thing about this is that when I do it with the regular drop point, it's going to be no, you know, no bells and whistles, just regular good old drop point play, just like this, which is going to be pretty sweet. It actually has a little better belly, so it will be actually more, even more suited for stuff like skinning and stuff like that. So actually, I think a really cool blade. Might not be as interesting and as visually striking as this blade shape, but I think still gonna be a very cool blade. I like this how this came came together. That that cut out in the front to kind of fit the hole in the blade. Very happy with a lot of aspects about this and cannot wait to make more, kinda try some new ideas I have on them. Pretty pretty cool. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Uh hope you like the new model. I certainly do. Thank you for the support guys, thank you for watching, have a great weekend, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.